Drain Demos are among the most disturbing and sickening creatures that Jill Valentine will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil 3. Insectoid monstrosities that have completely taken over the city's electrical grid, Drain Demos, like other creatures that have been exposed to the effects of the T-Virus, have grown to incredible sizes far beyond what Mother Nature had ever intended. This explosion of growth has allowed these beasts to go from minor inconveniences to a full-force death threat. The story of the Drain Demos as we know it begins with a T-Virus outbreak in a place known as Raccoon City. Due to a conflict near a secretive underground umbrella laboratory, the T-Virus would be leaked into the city's main water reservoir, causing citizens and animals that relied on that reservoir to become infected from the contaminated water. This exposure would eventually lead to a massive outbreak, with zombies and T-infected beasts roaming the city's streets, slaughtering and infecting thousands more. It would be from these T-infected individuals that the Drain Demos would be born, originating from fleas that would feast on the contaminated flesh of the infected. This exposure to tea would cause these fleas to grow hundreds of times larger than their initial size, making them a threat to an entirely new pool of prey. However, while this upscale would increase their offensive capabilities, it would also drastically contort their bodies. The flea's exoskeleton wouldn't be able to keep up with the intense alterations, causing it to crack, exposing the creature's muscles and inner organs, giving the beast its disturbing appearance. With this newfound size, the Demos would begin building nests at the base of Raccoon's electrical grid, killing the workers who attempted to fix it by embedding larvae in their stomachs with a tubular ovipositor. This larva would gestate inside of the victim's body, causing severe pain to those who were unfortunate enough to become embedded, with this pain ending only once the larva had matured enough to tear themselves out of the body. The Drain Demos are some of the most disgusting creatures that Jill will encounter in all of Raccoon. From their disturbing method of implanting their larvae, to their hideous and malformed appearance, these creatures are not ones that you want to have sneaking up on you in the dark of night. And while they may not be the most difficult of beasts to dispose of, if they catch you unprepared for their presence, your end will be one of the most gruesome, terrifying, and painful things that you can imagine.